In this set of video tutorial, what we are going to learn is, uh, let's say if you want to add a couple of more uh, employees and let's say the initial table which you had taken uh, was slightly incomplete and later you realized that you wanted to add one more. So how you may like to do that? So let's say if you want to add one more employee, employee number 19 and uh, his name is Tony. Let's say the department is marketing male and his salary was 2500. So the idea is that if you look at the movements, these calculations were kind of filled automatically. Neither did we do anything in terms of updating the formulas, but they automatically got populated. Now what happens is this is basically using the feature called automatic calculations and um, the Excel is very smart in terms of understanding what to do next. So the moment we had uploaded or populated this monthly salary, since Excel identified that the previous cells uh, were used to calculate the annual salaries like here. So it immediately updated the same for the 19th entry that was for Tony. So likewise, if you look at total salary, it was initially till Lindia. Uh, however, Tony is now included. So total salary has now been updated. Likewise, for the maximum, you can see that the range has increased and uh, the minimum salary has increased. Let's assume that uh, if you're using previous versions of Excel and these things doesn't happen automatically. So what you can also do is, you know, you will find that on the lower hand corner of the formula, I'm talking about this, you will see these arrows which will start blinking. You can press your mouse and play around with the range. So the, if the earlier range was till number 18, you can increase this to 19 if your formula doesn't identify it automatically. So, and you need to press enter. Likewise, for the maximum salary, you can also do the same thing here. So you need to play with these formulas. If you want to include only five, you can do that. If you want to include all 19, if you want to include top 15, you know, you can play with these set of formulas by writing or changing the range like this by dragging. Okay, so this is how you know the regular update may happen and um, hopefully you will find this useful.